In this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform a comprehensive and very advanced SEO analysis using the ChatGPT plugin called WebPilot plugin. I'm going to also show you how you can use it in different ways. So what type of prompts you are going to write and how you can get the most out of the plugin. I do have a whole playlist about ChatGPT plugins. So if you're interested in that topic, I'm going to link it down below. Definitely check it out. Also, if you're interested in ChatGPT, AI tech and automation, make sure to subscribe down below because I post every single week. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is to install the plugin. You want to go to GPT-4, then you go to plugins, then you go to this drop down menu and you click on plugin store. Here you want to go to all and unfortunately they still don't have any uh, search bar here. So you have to browse through the pages, but essentially you want to find a plugin called WebPilot. You can click on install and just like that you have successfully installed the WebPilot plugin. To activate the plugin in this current chat and enable it, you simply just hit this check mark. You then will see that you have one out of three plugins enabled. You can have up to three plugins enabled in one chat, and then you can perform even more in-depth analysis using different plugins, but that's for another video. Okay, so the first thing I always love to do with these plugins is to simply just ask, what does this plugin do? You can see that it can visit a specific URL and retrieve content from it. For the sake of this video, we are going to be working with a keyword ChatGPT plugins. Here, I simply have just typed down ChatGPT plugins to get to the first page of Google. The first prompt that you can use with this pilot is analyze the first page of Google using this link. And I just copied and pasted this link uh, here. And then I continue in terms of SERP, which is search engine results page, which is basically when you type down your keyword, what you are going to get is your search engine result page. The keyword is ChatGPT plugins. We are going to hit send and we don't have to even specify that ChatGPT should use WebPilot plugin. It automatically knows because it's enabled in this current chat. If you click on the arrow, you can see what it's been doing behind the scenes and we got the result. So let's have a look at that. On the first page of Google search results for the keyword ChatGPT plugins, Here's an analysis of the search engine results page. Organic results. The first organic result is from OpenAI's official blog discussing the introduction of ChatGPT plugins. Then it also lists other organic results such as market tech posts towards data science, discussing the best ChatGPT plugins and their uses. Here you immediately have an idea about what the articles usually are about. So most of them, it seems like they are discussing the best plugins and their uses. People also ask, it also provides your analysis of what people ask about. The people also ask section includes questions such as what are ChatGPT plugins? What are the best ChatGPT plugins? How do I get the code interpreter in ChatGPT? And is there a waitlist for ChatGPT? So here you immediately get ideas for your blog posts, articles, or even YouTube videos. Top stories, the top story section features news articles related to ChatGPT plugins, videos, there are video results on YouTube discussing the best ChatGPT plugins. So here you also get results about whether this keyword has some videos, images, and then you also get some related searches, which are again, good ideas to make articles, blogs, or videos about. So for example, ChatGPT Plus plugins, ChatGPT browsing, Prompt Perfect plugin, and so forth. All right, and now second prompt that you can use for your SEO analysis. Now give me the 10 keyword ideas I could use to rank on this first page of Google. Then you take the URL link and you paste it there. Remember to paste the link there because when I did not paste the link there, it was basically just using ChatGPT4 for me. So to make sure you are using the WebPilot plugin, you can either say use the WebPilot plugin or you are specifically going to place the link there so it knows that it should use WebPilot plugin. And then you just say for this keyword, ChatGPT plugins. All right, and just like that, we got the results based on the analysis of this first page of Google search results for the keyword ChatGPT plugins. Here are 10 keyword ideas that could potentially help you rank on the first page. And just like that, we have 10 keyword ideas that we can use to create articles or even videos about and then potentially rank on this first page of Google. 
These keyword ideas are derived from the content and related searches on the first page of Google search results. So you can see that it specifically used the WebPilot to analyze this whole first page of Google and then it came up with these ideas. Remember why keywords are important? Google also values high quality relevant content. So make sure to create content that provides value for your audience and is optimized for these keywords. All right, so right now what we are going to do is that we are going to take this second result on this page that is most likely an article and we take the URL link. The prompt is looking like this. Analyze this page for me in terms of SEO. And then we just pasted the link of the article here. Explain why it ranks number two on the first page. We're going to send this. All right, and just like that, we got a very advanced SEO analysis explaining why this article is ranking number two on the first page. So let's have a look at that. The page best 10 plus AI plugins on ChatGPT 2023 from Market Tech Post ranks high on Google search results for several reasons related to SEO, keyword optimization, the article is well optimized for the keyword ChatGPT plugins. It's included in the title, URL, and throughout the content. So here you immediately get an idea about where you have to include if you want to rank on the first page of Google. The keyword is also present in the meta description and open graph tags. Meta tags, internal linking, the article includes internal links to other related content on the same website. This helps to keep visitors on the site longer and can improve the site's SEO. So here you have another gem that you can use. You know that the more time uh, your visitors spend on your website, the better SEO score you are going to get. So internal linking is also a reason why this article is on the first page of Google. Freshness, the article is very recent. It's published in 2023, which can contribute to its high ranking. Another very important thing here you have that you, if your article is going to be fresh, you might outperform the old articles on the first page and authoritative backlinks and user engagement. Another prompt I have for you for your SEO analysis is provide me with LSI keywords for the phrase ChatGPT plugins that are not included in this article. And I copied and pasted the same article that we have used for the previous prompt. If you don't know what LSI keywords are, they are also called latent semantic indexing keywords that are conceptually related terms that search engines can use to better understand the content on the website. In theory, by using words that are semantically related to your main keyword, you can help search engines better categorize a page's topic. Here, I want those LSI keywords that are not included in this article because I want to potentially outrank this uh, page on the first page of Google. I'm gonna hit enter. And if I'm gonna use them in my article, I'm gonna be able to let Google know that my article is potentially more related to ChatGPT plugins than this article is. And then it might result in me outranking that article. So here it came up with latent semantic indexing keywords related to ChatGPT plugins that were not included in the article. ChatGPT plugins for education, ChatGPT plugins for healthcare, ChatGPT plugins for data analysis, ChatGPT plugins for project management. So these are basically keywords that are kind of subcategories of the main keyword ChatGPT plugins. Here, what I can also do is to copy and paste the same one. And I can also go and say, please provide me the keywords that are included in this article. All right, and here I got the LSI keywords that are specifically on the article. And then I should probably include these keywords in my article if I want to rank on the first page of Google. And here is another prompt that you can use for your SEO analysis. So what you can do is to actually compare two different articles. So what I did was that I went on the first page of Google and I took the article that we have been using, which is number two. Then I also took the article that is number three and ranking for the ChatGPT plugins keyword. The, the prompt that I wrote down is compare these two articles in terms of SEO and say which one is better and why. I then uh, wrote down number one, ranking number two on the first page for ChatGPT plugins. I gave it the link and then number two, ranking number three on the first page for ChatGPT plugins. And then I gave it the link. All right, so it used the WebPilot plugin for the first time for the first page and then it used the plugin second time for the second page. If we click on it, you can see how much work it is doing behind the scenes. And just like that, we got this such an advanced SEO analysis about both of the articles. And then it even gave us a summary of which one is better. So let's have a look at that. So after analyzing both articles, 
Here are the key SEO factors for each. So the first one, this article is well structured with clear headings and subheadings, making it easy for search engines to understand the content. The article contains relevant keywords and phrases such as ChatGPT plugins, AI chatbot, OpenAI. The article is comprehensive, providing detailed information. The article includes a number of internal and external links, which can help improve its SEO performance. And now this is interesting. This says the article is authored by a named individual which can enhance its credibility. Now that's a good tip for you if you are writing an article. And then the second article, which is number three on the first page of Google, the article is also well structured with uh, clear headings and subheadings. It also contains relevant keywords and phrases such as ChatGPT plugins, language models, third-party plugins. It provides comprehensive information about ChatGPT plugins. The article does not have a named author, which could potentially impact its credibility. And right now it gave us a summary. So both articles are well optimized. However, the article from Mark Tech Post may have a slight edge due to the presence of named author and a wider variety of relevant keywords and phrases. It's also worth noting that SEO is just one factor that search engines consider when ranking pages. Other factors such as user engagement and site speed can also play a significant role. So here we got a winner, it's the first one, and then you can go and perform maybe even more analysis on this specific article. So then you can come up with even better article to potentially outrank the number two on the first page of Google. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned anything new here, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're interested in ChatGPT, AI, automation and tech, definitely subscribe down below. I post every single week. Thank you so much and have a great day.